Hi there! My name is Chelsea Higman kozel and if you are watching this video, then I have the pleasure of having your son or daughter in one of my math classes this school year. The purpose of this video is to tell you a little bit about the courses that I teach, uh, gives a list of some suggested materials that might help students be successful, and also to make sure that you have my contact information if you have any questions or concerns throughout the school year. First up, um, most of my day I spend teaching Algebra 1 Intro and Conclusions. This is a blocked Algebra 1 course. In Semester 1, we'll be covering Introduction to Algebra as well as Linear Functions. Semester 2, we switch to more polynomials and nonlinear functions. This is a graduation requirement, and because it is a blocked course, that simply means your student will spend two hours a day with me, and they will receive not only the required math credit, but they also receive an elective credit for their time. I do want to make sure I take a few seconds here to clarify something that parents and students sometimes have a misconception about regarding the blocked algebra course. Um, I want to make sure that you guys understand that even though it's a blocked algebra course, I still cover the exact same standards that the one hour algebra course does. All of our lessons come out of the same textbook. And in fact, we use many of the same assessments and the same final exams as the one hour algebra. The only real difference is sort of how I conduct class within my room. Um, things are a little more non-traditional. There's lots of opportunities for collaborative and partner work, tons of hands-on activities, and a bunch of extra review to not only work on the topics we're covering in class, but also some opportunities to maybe bolster those skills that students may have struggled with in the past. There's no required materials for Algebra 1, but a few suggestions of things that might make it easier for your student to be successful. Please make sure they have a pencil and possibly a notebook to take some notes while they're in here. And then scientific calculators might be very helpful for this course. Students are allowed to use calculators at any point during my Algebra 1 course. There's no restrictions on that. I do have a classroom set that students are welcome to use when they're in my classroom, so you don't need to go out and buy one. However, it can be helpful for students to have access to them at home in order to complete their homework a little bit faster. Um, the two most common ones that I see are nothing fancy. They're about $10 at most stores and are kind of shown at the bottom of this presentation. Again, it's not totally necessary just because they are able to use them in my room, but if they would like their own calculator, those would be my two suggestions. Your student also might have me for AP Statistics. There's four major units that we cover in this course, exploring data, sampling and experimentation, anticipating patterns, and statistical inference. Because this is an AP course, which stands for Advanced Placement, students do have the option of taking the AP exam next May, where they have the opportunity to earn some college credit for their time in this course. Um, I will be giving out some handouts and some other information regarding the test as we get going on the semester and make sure that they have all the information they need if that's something that they're interested in. Um, there are no required materials for stats. However, making sure that students have a pencil and a notebook for note taking might be helpful. Also, note cards or index cards will be used for some of our review projects. Um, I do have some in class, but if they want to provide their own, that is perfectly fine with me. Um, the recommended calculator for this course is a TI-84 graphing calculator that are pictured at the bottom. I do have a classroom set that students can use when they're in my classroom. Um, I know these calculators are a little pricey. They're about $100, so students can provide their own. Or we will also be downloading a free version that they can access on their school-issued laptop. That's pretty much it for me. Uh, again, my contact information is listed at the top. Let me know if you ever have any questions or concerns. I can't wait to get to know your students and get started on this new school year. Go Bruins!